Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix your Wi-Fi not working properly on OnePlus Pad 3. If you have any problems with the Wi-Fi then there are a few things that you can do and they for sure should help you. So let's begin with the first one which is swiping down from the top of your screen, then simply toggling the Wi-Fi off and on. Click on the Wi-Fi symbol to toggle it, off, uh, toggle it off, then toggle it on after 15 to 20 seconds. Uh, now it should try to connect and if it does and if after connecting everything works then it's great but of course it doesn't help always. So let's go to the next thing which is going to the settings and then going to Wi-Fi and find uh, the network you are connected to or if you aren't connected to it or can't find it on the list, click on three dots in top right corner, I believe, more settings and save networks. Then click on the network here and click on forget. Mm, you can also do it once you're connected by just clicking on this eye icon and click on forget. Then click on remove, turn the Wi-Fi off, turn it on and try to connect again by entering the password again to that network. So I'll quickly just do it. And now it may be working. If not, then try restarting your tablet by simply pressing and holding on power and volume down, which is this volume key and sliding down or you can slide up to restart so you just don't have to do anything uh, you don't have to power it on manually uh, just wait until it powers on now let's unlock the device and see if everything works try correct connecting again if not then you'll need to get to your router and see if it, uh, if you may want to uh, unplug the router from the um, from the power or just turn it off restart your router um, because this may help as well you may also need to get closer to the router if you're too far then Wi-Fi connection may not work properly. You may be able to connect to it, but there will be no internet. Mm, but also just restart your router. Um, if you uh, can access the admin page of your router, then you may want to see um, if your tablet's MAC address is on a blacklist, but most probably it will be on a blacklist only because uh, someone else also has access to your uh, admin page of the router mm, although yeah if you see a blacklist on your um, router admin page then you can just verify with your um, with your tablet like go to the wi-fi click on the wi-fi network you can, you're connected to and uh, see the mac address and if it's locked on the router then it won't work of course mm. Now uh, check for software updates in settings, um, but of course you can check for system updates only if you have internet access. So first of all, try connecting a different device to your router to see if it's your router's or tablet's fault. If you establish that it's your tablet's fault, not your router's fault, and then try connecting your tablet to a different network uh, like your phone's hotspot or just any other network, your neighbor's network. And uh, if you are able, then it's really great because you can simply go to system and update, software update. It'll start checking for updates and if there is any available, I'd highly recommend updating so it may fix some bugs uh, connected with the, um, with the Wi-Fi. And the last thing that you can do, no matter whether it's your tablet's fault or or whatever, uh, and um, also if you can or cannot connect to a different network, still you can do this setting, uh, do, do this option, which is system and update, I believe, then back up and reset, 
No, sorry, it will be most probably in the Wi-Fi. Three dots in the top right corner, more settings, and um, I don't really see that. I'll just get back to you shortly. Okay, so yeah, it was in system and update. Uh, you'll just need to go to backup and reset, reset device and uh, reset network and Bluetooth settings. Enter your lock screen password and click on reset. Now it'll start resetting it and the network reset is completed. So um, it will forget all Wi-Fi networks and unpair all Bluetooth devices. Uh, so now you can just reconnect to the Wi-Fi and see if it helps and most probably it will. And I hope that this video helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.